Let's do it. Hey everybody, welcome back. Look, I wanna introduce y'all to my new friend. Actually, she's kind of an old friend now. Her name is Rosie. My wife named her about three weeks ago when she showed up at the house. She named her Rosie, kind of like the Jetsons robot cleaner lady. So I don't wanna be sexist. My wife actually named her Rosie because she cleans so well and she's so smart like the uh, Jetsons robot. This is the Shawa Robo Rock E25 robot vacuum and it is fly. It's been in my house for about three weeks now and it has kept my floors as clean as a robot can clean some floors. So, full disclosure, we do have a Roomba 880, I think it is. Now that thing's about four years old, and while it's aging, I'll tell you right now, this thing just seems to clean so much better, and it's definitely a lot smarter. It has a connected app, um, and it's just it just knows what to do and how to do it. So I actually do prefer this, if that was your question, I prefer this over the Roomba 880. I don't know what Roomba's got going on with their new stuff right now, but Rosie here, she is doing her thing at my house. So let's take a look around my girl here, Rosie. So right here at the top, you got this beacon. This is like the little sensor that communicates with the home base. I'll show you all the accessories in just a second. So that's your beacon right there, or your communicator, whatever you want to call it. Then you got three buttons right here. You got a spot clean, and then you got your power button and then you have your return to home or charge button so no matter where this thing is where there's doctor just loose in the room somewhere you can press this button right here to either stop it or start it and it'll just start cleaning in its own little pattern that it does now when you press this button right here it'll just spot clean so if you got like a little spot where somebody made a mess you just put it near that spot or maybe even the middle of it press that button right there and it'll start kind of doing circles and spot cleaning and everything. And when it's time for it to go back home, you can either open up the app, tell it to go home, or you can press this little button right here. Let me see what it does. Going back to the dock. Oh no, no, we can't go back. Oh, oh stop, okay, Pause. stop, okay. You hear her talking? Is that cool or what? Okay, so let's let's finish taking our look around, then we'll set it loose. So you got this little- Put the vacuum down and got start it. You're a mouthy little lady, aren't you? So right here, you got this almost a visor. This is a lot of infrared stuff right here. There's a lot of sensors and stuff going on to keep it from bumping into things really hard. Now it will slow down before it actually gets to like a, a table leg or a base or something like that. It'll still tap it because it needs to make contact. But you see how it kind of springs in right here? That way it doesn't do any harm to your furniture or fragile stuff. And it does kind of slow down before it hits it. It'll give it a gentle tap and then it'll go on around it if it needs to. And then, since we're on the top, there's nothing else left here except for this drawer right here. So let's just open this thing up right here and get into it. Let's take out the little tray. Now it is really dirty. Oh, let's take it out. Okay, yeah, you got a lot to say today, girl. Now, yeah, you a dirty little girl, man. Look at all that dirt. So I've already emptied this thing out, but it is filthy. It has a pretty big capacity. I'm actually really surprised at how much dust is in my house. We have wood and tile throughout the whole bottom floor. And according to Rosie, our house is disgusting. There's all kinds of nasty dirt and debris in here and grime. And to get this filter out, which is interchangeable, you can get new ones if you need to. It's supposed to be washable, uh, but if you need to take it out, you actually just pop it up from the side right here. You can take it outside and uh, beat all the dust out and then wash it if you want to with some cold water. And then you just plug it back in right there and you are good to go. And when it comes time to actually open the dustbin, you just flip it open like that and all that nastiness is gonna be in there. This is getting real nasty. I didn't realize this was gonna let out all this dust. So I got a little bit of dust right here because I didn't clean it out that well before I started the review, but that's okay. Now you know just how much nastiness this thing will collect in your house. So I don't know if you can see this little blue LED right here, but that says Wi-Fi. That's because it's connected to the Wi-Fi in your house, if you want it to be. If you don't, don't. If you do, you should and it'll be awesome if you do. Then you can also see this little opening right here where the brushes are, and that's what kind of kicks everything up into this little dustbin right here. So let's just put this back where it's supposed to go. Dustbin installed. All right then, and then we will close the lid. Okay, that's just getting real nasty. Let's flip her over. Put the vacuum down. Man, she's a talk. <laughs> Okay, chill out, Rosie. So if you flip this thing over, you got some like off-road wheels here. Man, these things have some serious off-road traction right here. And then you've got your, uh, your cliff sensors right here. So you got one, two, three, four cliff sensors. Now I'm gonna give you some advice. Clean these things at least once a week. The cleaner these things are, the better your vacuum is gonna perform as far as finding direction and running into stuff and all that goodness. And these little plates right here, these are for the charger. So once it runs up on the charging dock, these make a connection and that's how you get your charge. Now moving over here, you got this little spinning brush right here. Now this thing spins the entire time it's running. It does not shut off. So you wanna keep it clean. There goes some 
more of my wife's hair right there. So you want to keep this thing clean and debris free so it can function properly as it's supposed to be spinning. And it'll sweep up all your little corners and baseboards and stuff like that. And let's get into this little tray right here. So let's pop these in. So if you need to clean the brush, this is how you get it out. You just pop that open and the brush just comes out like this. Now this does not come apart anymore. Now I've already kind of cleaned this thing. I will tell you, I love my wife's hair. It's super long and super red. She's got some really nice red hair and I love it when it's attached to her head, but this thing will pick up that hair and it'll wrap around here real good. My suggestion is try to pick it out with your hand once a week. If it gets too tough, get yourself a razor blade and just kind of slice it and then you can pick, take it off like that. But other than that, that's pretty much all there is to see here. It's a pretty easy maintenance process. As long as you keep these brushes clean and that dust pan empty, I think you're gonna be all right. Now let's flip old Rosie over and then we'll- Put the vacuum down, get started. Man, she is spicy. Let's look at some accessories. So you do get an extra filter just in case something really goes wrong with that first one. Maybe it's not coming clean after you've washed it or tapped it out. You get an extra one. And then you get a little brush right here to start cleaning stuff. And I do believe this is for the wheel so you can cut that hair out. Next, you got your docking station. Now, remember those two uh, silver plates I told you about? That's what goes up on here. It makes a connection and then it starts to charge. This LED comes on. And I'm pretty sure some there are some kind of sensors in here that tell it where it's supposed to be and communicate back and forth then of course you got your standard wire right here where you can uh, plug it into your wall with the AC cord but right here you get into some really cool stuff this is cool I have not seen this before on any vacuums yet so right here these are like little mop pads you get an extra one let's put this to the side so what you do is you pull this little tab up right here this little plug you fill this thing up with some water boom and then you plug it back up so the water doesn't leak everywhere then you attach it to the bottom of your robo rocket what happens next is let me peel this back a little bit you got some velcro right here to keep the pad in place then you got these little buttons right here that pretty much just release the water and kind of soak the pad as it goes along you even get some extra ones just in case something goes wrong with these two let's put these to the side and let's velcro this pad back in there and because this thing can actually be used as a wet mop and it'll dock itself when you're not watching uh, you want to put this plate right here just to catch any water just in case it docks itself and all the water starts leaking out and it won't ruin your wood floors if you got them. I haven't used this feature yet. I've just been enjoying the vacuuming functions of this thing, but we will test it out right after we dig into this app. Let me show you what this app is capable of. So you open this bad boy up. So you download the Me Home app, set it all up and everything like that. And then you got your vacuum right here. So this one is connected to Wi-Fi. So right now it says the vacuum is sleeping, but the last job it did had 88 square meters of clean area. You can't tap on that. Uh, the battery's at 100% because I just took it off and it cleaned for 108 minutes the last time it cleaned. Now let's look at the map of my house. It'll actually show you a map of where it went in my house. And there's the docking station. And we're actually upstairs, but this is about the relationship of the distance of where it's at. Is that cool or what? It'll actually show you where it's at, just in case it gets lost or something. Now speaking of getting lost, yes, it has gotten lost a couple of times. It couldn't find its way back to the docking station. I don't know how it happened. It just kind of happened, but it doesn't happen often. But if it does get lost and you can't visually see it, all you gotta do is open up the app and it'll kind of show you where it's at. Now one cool thing that I did notice is that when it's on a hard surface and doing its thing the motor is just you know it's normal it's not that loud but as soon as it detects that there's carpet like if it goes over the carpet or a rug or something you'll hear that motor ramp up and it starts like the suction power increases because it knows it's on carpet I told you this thing was smart Rosie is the bomb now the real question is does it work I think I've already answered that yes not yes but yes, yes. I remember one time this thing cleaned my whole house as far as the regular vacuuming job was concerned. Then it went back to the dock, recharged itself for a little bit, then came back out. And I was like, what's this thing doing? It's malfunctioning. I looked at the app and it said it was edge clean. Then I looked to see what it was actually doing. It was going around the perimeter of my house, sweeping the edges of my house, the whole perimeter. It went the whole perimeter of my house doing just the edges and baseboards. And then it went back home and did a full recharge and then went out the next day. Incredible, man. I say the value is definitely here with everything you get in the box. You get the mopping pads, the cleaning tools, and the extra filters and stuff like that. And yes, you can buy extra parts for this thing online, but the value is definitely here, especially for this price. And the major factor here is that it actually really sucks. So I definitely approve this vacuum, but I ain't no expert in this kind of stuff. But if you had a good time hanging out with me in this video, you make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comment section, and I'll see y'all at the next one.